Today, we're gonna reverse Neymar's career to see if he would be able to win the Ballon d'Or if things were just a little bit different. But for right now, he's starting off as an up-and-coming wonder kid at Al Hilal. Eventually, Neymar's gonna play for PSG, Barcelona, and his first club in real life, Santos. But first, he'll have to earn himself a transfer out of the Saudi Pro League. And by scoring 25 goals and getting 10 assists to lead Al Hilal to a league title and winning the Saudi League Player of the Season at just 19 years old, Neymar would earn himself a transfer as PSG would spend 30 million to bring Neymar to Paris. At PSG, Neymar would team up with Mbappe and Hyungmin Son to form what will eventually go down as one of the greatest attacking trios in footballing history, MSN. But for the moment, Neymar is still only 20 and would take a backseat to Mbappe and Son who were the main stars of this team. Neymar would still go out and score 9 goals and get 8 assists in his first season making it obvious to the world that he's gonna have a bright future in football. But like I said before, for the moment he's still stuck in the shadow of Mbappe who is by far the best player in the world. As Neymar turned 21 in season number 3, he would have his breakout season scoring 22 goals and getting 10 assists to help PSG win the league title and the French Cup. But in the Champions League, things weren't as easy. You see, Neymar isn't the only wonder kid lighting up world football because over in Manchester, a young Cristiano Ronaldo is making a name for himself as PSG and Man United come face to face in the Champions League final. All right, here it is, the Champions League final. Neymar tried his best to give PSG the early lead over Manchester United, but it would actually be Donnarumma who would end up keeping PSG in the game. No, get it out! Oh, what a save! What a save, Donnarumma! Incredible. Incredible goalkeeping. But despite the incredible goalkeeping, Ronaldo and Neymar kept on giving it their all until one of them finally scored. Neymar, Neymar, this is it! This is your chance to make history! Neymar! Yes! There it is! Neymar takes the lead in the Champions League final! I think Neymar's scoring only motivated the Manchester United players because they started peppering Donnarumma like no tomorrow. Don't let him cross it! Donnarumma, you are our savior! But eventually, it was just way too much pressure. He did me! Side tackle! No! Ronaldo absolutely sent our left back there. All right, 1-1. One, one. Someone's going to have to produce some magic if we're going to win this game, man. United may have tied the game, but Neymar still had a lot more left in the tank. Fulfill your dreams right here, right now. Neymar! Yes! He's done it in the 77th minute. Oh, and he's dancing on him. Neymar, you are world class. But maybe dancing on them wasn't the best idea. No, no, no. No, no, Marcus Rashford, are you kidding me? We just got the lead. His career might still be young, but one thing I've already learned is to never doubt Neymar and his teammates. Neymar, Neymar, make something happen, Neymar. Make something happen. Mbappe, Mbappe, no, he missed it. But yo, it's going in, yes. What, what? Hyogman son comes out of nowhere and saves the day. Oh my God. Blow the whistle, please. Blow the whistle, yes. There it is. PSG have won the Champions League thanks to Neymar's two goals and Son's late winner. Neymar was super happy when PSG lifted the Champions League trophy because he knows that now he's on the right path to one day win the Ballon d'Or. Even though PSG won the final because of Neymar, it would actually be Mbappe who would be praised in the media leaving Neymar in the shadow once again. As Neymar watched Mbappe win the Ballon d'Or, he was happy for his teammate, but deep down, he wanted to win the Ballon d'Or for himself more than anything else. However, in season number 4, Neymar would have something to prove and scored 36 goals and got 15 assists to lead PSG to the league title and the French Cup once again. And with Mbappe and Son both scoring only a combined 40 goals, it was clearly Neymar's year. And as PSG dominated through the Champions League, they would find themselves up against Real Madrid who after signing Ronaldo are one of the best teams in the world. But after 90 minutes and extra time, it was still a tie game, meaning this match was going to be decided in a penalty shootout. Alright, alright, alright. Can we save the first penalty? Oh my god, what a pen, Ronaldo. It's fine, Neymar. The coach trusts you to go first, so I trust you to go first too. Come on, Neymar! What a pen! 
Let's go. Look, at Modric, you going to the right. Oh, he went down the middle. What a pen. All right, Hingman, son. Come on. I need you to bury this, my friend. Yes. Okay. All right, Rodrigo. I think he's going to the left. Oh, man. That was a great pen. That was a great pen. Vatinia. 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 Oh, no. I thought it was going. Oh, I thought it went in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, this is bad. Comes down to Mbappe. Mbappe, you need to smash this, my friend. Oh, no. No, no, please, 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 no, Mbappe. Mbappe, how could you miss? Oh, we've lost the Champions League final. We've lost the Champions League final. Ronaldo would get his revenge and beat PSG, winning the Ballon d'Or due to Mbappe's penalty miss. But for some reason, it would be Neymar who would get destroyed by the media, even though he was clearly PSG's best player this year. Going into season number five, Neymar would clap back at the media the only way he knew how, and that was through his football. As PSG once again won the league title, it was largely due to Neymar's 45 goals and 20 assists. In fact, in fact, it was a great season for the entire team as Mbappe would score 40 goals and Son would score 35 as well. However, in the Champions League, PSG would get caught off guard by a young Barcelona team led by Lionel Messi who would defeat PSG 6-1 in the first leg of the semi-finals. Oh my god, 6-1. Dude, there's no way you come back, man. That's it. I think the season's over, man. Unless they can pull up a miracle, they're not coming back against 6-1, bro. That's too much. It was now up to Mbappe's son and Neymar to attempt the impossible as Barca would visit Paris for the second leg with a trip to the final almost already guaranteed. All right. PSG and Neymar try to attempt the impossible. Mbappe? 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 Can he start it off early? Mbappe? What? Okay, there might be a chance. Only three minutes in, and PSG have gotten one back. It's still nowhere near for us to get excited, but anything is possible. Anything is possible because after that goal, PSG turned it up to another level. Go Mbappe. Go Mbappe. I see Neymar. Son. Neymar. Neymar. Oh my god. 2 0. There's a chance! PSG are now on the right track to make the comeback, but there's one more problem that stands in their way, and that's the Barcelona keeper, Ter Stegen. But you know what they say, when there's a will, there's a way. Cut inside. Neymar. 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 Neymar! Neymar! What a goal! What a goal from Neymar! There's only two more goals that PSG need. And despite all odds, PSG kept their momentum going. Penguin son! Hyungmin Sun! Hyungmin Sun! Sun gets it done! Only one more goal, and it's a tie game! Oh, Neymar! Neymar absolutely sent him. Neymar, 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 Sun, Sun, Sun! In the 63rd minute, and they've tied the game! That Neymar and Sun connection is insane! The game might be tied, but Ter Stegen was doing everything he could to make sure that PSG didn't complete the comeback. Verratti. Come on! Wow. Wow, what a save. But he couldn't stop history from being made in the 93rd minute. Neymar, come on. It's now or never. Use your pace. Go, Neymar. Go, Neymar. Square it. Mbappe! He's won it! Mbappe! Neymar to Mbappe! What a goal! What a comeback! The Remontada! They've done it! Oh, my God. Oh my god, what a game. That is possibly the greatest game of football of all time. Neymar, two goals and three assists. The deserved man of the match. The best player on the pitch today, by far. However, PSG are not done yet because there's still one more match to play. And if they want to win the Champions League, they'll have to get revenge on Cristiano Ronaldo and Real Madrid. This is it, boys. Champions League final. It all comes down to this. You guys better not choke, man. Neymar? Into Mbappe, Mbappe finish, Mbappe finish. Oh, come on. However, unlike last game, PSG have to come up against a different type of beast. And that is a prime Cristiano Ronaldo. No, 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 don't let Ronaldo shoot, man. We can't let Ronaldo shoot. And no matter how hard they tried, it just seemed like Ronaldo was inevitable. No, 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 not again, not again, not again. Ronaldo's literally unstoppable. Thankfully, Real Madrid scored their goals quickly, which gave PSG a chance to make a comeback. Over the top, Son, Son, finish, finish, finish. That was all set up by Neymar, but Son finishes it off. There's a game, there's a game here now. Neymar, 
Oh, look at that skill. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, Neymar. Neymar, what a goal. What a goal, Neymar. And he ties it up. And now with momentum on their side, it was only a matter of time before PSG took the lead. Over the top. Once more. Neymar. Neymar. Oh, through the goalkeeper's legs. What a finish, Neymar. However, Neymar and his teammates weren't out of the woods yet as Real Madrid still had a few more chances. But at the end of the day, it wasn't enough and PSG won the game to take home the Champions League. Neymar has already won more Champions League titles than he did in real life, but his career isn't over and he still wants the ultimate prize and that is the Ballon d'Or. And he finally realized if he wanted to achieve his dream and become the best player in the world, he would have to step out of Mbappe's shadow and leave PSG. That's why in season number 6, Barcelona would spend a record-breaking £250 million to sign Neymar and bring him to the new camp. Here he would team up with Lionel Messi and Di Maria to try and become the best player in the world and win the Ballon d'Or. However, even though Neymar would go on to score 30 goals and get 20 assists, he would end up losing the La Liga title race to Real Madrid and get eliminated in the quarterfinals of the Champions League to FC Bayern. It was still a decent season, but Neymar is going to have to be better if he wants to surpass Mbappe and win the Ballon d'Or to become the best player in the world. And without Neymar, PSG didn't really struggle with Mbappe carrying them to another Champions League trophy and winning another Ballon d'Or. After hearing that interview, Neymar doesn't just want to win one Ballon d'Or, he wants to win multiple Ballon d'Ors to finally surpass Mbappe and become the GOAT. That's why in season number 7, Neymar would go absolutely mental scoring 45 goals and getting 24 assists to win the league title and lead Barcelona to the Champions League final where they would come up against Mbappe and PSG. This is it. It's time to get revenge on Mbappe, man. As the game started, the PSG players were playing dirty with Neymar, so it only made sense that we played dirty with Mbappe. If that's how you want to play it, if that's how we play Mbappe, take his legs out. I don't care if it's a penalty. Injure that man. I'm not even scared because I know he's going to miss. I know he's going to miss. He's all talk. He's all talk. He's all talk, man. Get him out of here. And it didn't stop there because PSG and Mbappe kept on missing sitter after sitter. Get out of here, son. Get out of here, son. Oh my God. They're putting on so much pressure, man. But it doesn't really matter because on the other side of the pitch, Donnarumma was a brick wall. Messi. Oh, Donnarumma. You can't get away with this over and over again. But finally in the second half, thanks to Neymar's playmaking, things finally changed. Keep it going to Di Maria. And finesse, finesse, finesse. Di Maria, what a goal. And that assist from Neymar was spectacular. And thanks to Ter Stegen's fantastic goalkeeping and a last-ditch tackle from Araujo, Barcelona were able to hold on to the 1-0 lead and win the Champions League. Oh, yes, that's it. Araujo, you just won us the Champions League. What a tackle. And after the huge win, Neymar would finally win the Champions League with Barcelona and the Ballon d'Or. Neymar may have achieved his dream of winning the Ballon d'Or, but the question remains, can he win more than Mbappe and become the Goat? And in season number 8, now that Neymar is a Ballon d'Or winner, he was playing with way more confidence and would hit the 50 goal mark for the first time in his career. And with Messi and Di Maria beside him, there was no one in the world that could stop Barcelona as Neymar would lead them to back-to-back -to -back Champions League titles beating Manchester City in the final. And now Neymar and Mbappe are both tied on two Ballon d'Ors each. And with next season being Neymar and Mbappe's final season in Europe, whoever wins the Ballon d'Or will undoubtedly go down as the greatest of all time. That being said, in season number 9, everything would change. It's clear that Mbappe is doing everything he can to make sure that Neymar doesn't win the Champions League again because that would mean he would also win the Ballon d'Or. However, that didn't stop Neymar from scoring 63 goals and leading Barcelona to the Champions League final for the third year in a row. And it's no surprise that Mbappe and Real Madrid were waiting for them in the final in what would be the biggest footballing match in history as Real Madrid take on FC Barcelona in the Champions League final. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe because we're trying to get to 1 million subscribers. Thank you. All right, the Champions League final. This Look at this super team, man. Mbappe and Ronaldo like come on bro right out the gate Real Madrid put on a lot of pressure but just like in past finals Ter Stegen came up clutch oh get that out get that out get that out 
out. However, the same can't be said about the Real Madrid keeper. Is it meant to Messi? Or who is this? That's not Messi, it's Pedri. Oh, Captain Ace is Messi. <laughs> Let's go. You have to be there to get those. And Messi was there. Neymar and Barca may have had the lead, but dealing with Mbappe and Ronaldo was gonna be a problem. Oh no, I got sent to the shop. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why did it have to be Mbappe, man? However, on the other side of the pitch, Neymar and Messi were just as deadly of a duo and Neymar's playmaking came up on top. Over the top, Messi, 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 Messi! That's two for Messi and an assist for Neymar! However, Neymar's not only a playmaker, he can score goals too. Neymar, Neymar, finish! Neymar and he sneaks it in! What a goal! Dance on him, dance on Neymar, dance on Mbappe for all he said to you in the media. Show him who's boss. And with the momentum on their side, it didn't even matter that Mbappe got another goal because Barcelona would hold on and win the Champions League, finally defeating Real Madrid, Mbappe, and Ronaldo. Yes! There it is, that's it. It doesn't matter that Mbappe scored two because Neymar gets the win and the Champions League. As Neymar won the Champions League and the Ballon d'Or, he's finally surpassed Mbappe and he would spend one last season in Santos before retiring as one of the greatest players of all time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you're gonna love this video down below as well where I did the same thing but with Messi.